Good evening, my dear friends in Christ. Welcome to our service of evening prayer at First Presbyterian Church of Morristown. Since the start of the pandemic nearly a year and a half ago, we've been gathering on Wednesday, excuse me, Thursday evening for prayer. We pray for the community of Morristown and the region of Burlington County. We pray for our congregation, our children, youth, our staff, and lay leaders. We pray for our nation and for the nations of the world. We are convinced that prayer is our faithful response to the many needs and problems that we see all around us. I'm delighted to welcome tonight Reverend Wes Allen, our new associate pastor, to tonight's service. Wes was elected by our congregation on Sunday. In his first week, Wes has already brought to our staff and to our congregation strength, faith, vision, and joy. Make sure you welcome Wes and Jen and their children. Pray for our new pastor as you have prayed so faithfully and consistently for me. The deadline for our fall prayer retreat at Holy Cross Monastery is Sunday, September the 12th. The retreat begins on Tuesday, October the 19th at 5 p.m. and concludes on Friday, October the 22nd in the afternoon. For information, go to our events page where you'll find a page for the fall prayer retreat, or if you need help, contact our church office. Now I'd like to invite Reverend Allen to come and bring our Way of the Week. Our Way of the Week is number 13, open doors for others to lead. Encourage others to step into leadership by sharing responsibilities and mentoring. Let go of jobs you've always done and allow new leaders to emerge. Remember that our youth and young adults are not solely the future of our church, but are vitally important for our present. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. From 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. As you consider whatever it is that you do regularly, regularly here at First Pres, keep a lookout for a younger person or perhaps a new member to invite to join you in the task. If the job requires training or coaching, offer it. Look to let go and hand off. Heaven's angels all around My delight is found in knowing That you wear the victor's crown You're my help and my defender You're my savior and my friend By your grace I live and breathe to worship you At the mention of your greatness In your name I will bow down Let your glory fill this temple, let your power overflow, by your grace I live and breathe to worship.
Our scripture lesson comes from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Friends, as we prepare to pray together, let me share with you some of our joys and concerns that we have received from you and others that I'd like to share with you before we pray. Mary Christensen asks that we pray for her son, Dan, who has been diagnosed with COVID, even though he has been vaccinated. Dan and his wife and children live in Florida. Bruce and Kathy Melson are rejoicing at the birth of their two newest grandchildren, twins, Quill and Cora, born to Adam and Liz. Don Stevens is a member of our praise band plays at our contemporary service on Sundays at 11 o'clock. He's become a beloved brother in Christ to us. Don's been uh, having some medical struggles. He was in the hospital for a time and is on some medication. We're asking that you remember Don in your prayers tonight. Ted Flick asks that we pray for the family of Alan Horn, who died this week from a variety of medical concerns. Alan was a friend of Ted's. Ted also requests that we pray for a 30-year-old young man, friend of his family, named Eddie Fernandez Jr. Eddie recently learned that he has a tumor on his liver and gallbladder. We want to pray tonight for children as they return to school and for their parents. We also pray for young people who are starting at college or graduate school. Let's also remember in our prayers, teachers, administrators, life is not normal in these times and there are challenges that are being faced by students and teachers and administrators on almost a daily basis. 
Let's be sure to continue to pray for Afghan individuals and families who have fled their homes. Many have arrived in the United States, including a number who have landed at Fort Dix, not far from us. We pray for the nation of Afghanistan in this time of turmoil and change. Let us also hold the people of Haiti in our prayers. We have many friends there, including mission partners. Please remember pastors and churches in this time of need. Dear friends, let us pray together as God's people. At evening, morning, and noon, it is right, Lord God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that we should praise you. Lord God Almighty, you have made one day of the evening, the morning, and noon. You have ordered the sun in its rising and setting. Make your way through the darkness of our hearts, that being enlightened by you, we may know you as the true God and our eternal light. Through your mercy, O Lord our God, you are blessed and you govern all things now and forever. We seek your light tonight, your strength, your healing, your hope, and your peace. These gifts, Lord, we are praying on behalf of others, including family members, friends, church members, strangers, the poor, the lost, the addicted, and those we may even call our enemies. We pray for these graces for ourselves too, Lord. Lord, make speed to save us. Lord, make haste to help us. We pray for the world tonight. We pray for the leaders of the nations, including the United Nations and our president, Joe Biden. Grant them wisdom and strength and your sense of righteousness and justice. We pray for the people of Afghanistan and Haiti this evening. Hear us, Lord, as we pray for the world. We pray for our church and our leaders and for churches and pastors that we know and love. Right now, we must have your help and wisdom for understanding how to best serve you and your people in this pandemic. Lord, bless your servant, Wes Allen, as he begins his ministry as our associate pastor. Strengthen and encourage all of our staff and members of session, deacons and trustees. Help us as we strive to create an atmosphere or a culture that is thick with love. Lord, hear us as we pray for your church here, the First Presbyterian Church of Morristown and other churches, Lord, that we carry in our heart. We pray for our children and youth and their families as a new school year begins. Lord, we're not where we wanted to be. We know that families are worn out by all of the changes and restrictions from the pandemic. We also, Lord, would bring to you our college and graduate school students as they begin a new year. Hear us, Lord, as we pray for our children, for our youth, and those who educate them. We pray for the sick, for those who live with chronic illness, pain, or disability. We pray for the grieving. We pray as well for those who know joy from the birth of grandchildren or children, for those who have been healed by your grace. Lord, tonight, would you heal our friend Don, Mary's son, Dan, Ted's friend, Eddie. Lord, we remember Katie Laundress as she adjusts to her altered life. Comfort the family of Alan Horn. Bless these twin grandchildren of Bruce and Kathy's. Hear us, Lord, as we pray for those who have asked for our prayers. Glory and honor and blessing belong to you, Lord God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You've heard our prayers, and you are working out your glorious plans in us and through us, and also for our church. 
We entrust ourselves and those we love to your goodness and grace, praying the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, my friends. Let the Lord's name be praised. And now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds at rest in Christ Jesus, both now and forever. Amen. Amen.